Shaka being that mafioso that done died the coldest nigga breathing flames, aka SB Panther, aka Shaka Black, aka Shaka Fuego, aka Shaka being that, aka Shaka Flame. Whoa. And listen, man. I've been reacting to these dudes. Oh, I actually haven't reacted to these dudes ever, bro. But I have been watching them for years, bro. These are my boys I've been preach. You know what I'm saying? They do reaction videos uh themselves, but you know. They more legends in the game with it. You know what I'm saying? So let's react to this video of uh, in my NY man losing his life for not saying thank you, which sounds absolutely crazy. Oh, let's react to that. Let me switch Elizabeth that for you, baby. England let an attempted robber go free. Surveillance video caught what looked like a customer browsing through the phone market, a cell phone store in West York. That knew his ass going to lock some. After getting two phones in his hand to compare, the hooded man makes a run for the door. You can't do nothing. Out that it's locked from the inside. Dumbass. Give me the phone, stupid. Dumbass. Love that would have been embarrassing. Motherfucker didn't even budge. They knew what the fuck they was doing. <laughs> I love that shit. I love that shit. Nobody moved to press the button because the button been pressed. They saw this white dude walking with a hoodie and they're listen, listen, we've seen enough. <laughs> we've seen enough of East Enders. We've seen enough of UK television to know we don't trust no genius. He got caught on damn the phones. I camera it. with they that dumb shit. Look at this shit. It's precious. I uh, feel so stupid as hell. Good. I try to steal something and then they locked on. I'd be like, damn, here great. you go. Uh, y'all got a bathroom? Yo, Ahmed, man. I got a bathroom. Uh, no, it was this, it was this, it was this, this is what I love. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, hey, man, how you, you know doing? How's the kids? in the UK because in America they would have pulled guns. Look, look at this shit. The would-be thief brings the phones back to the Dumbass. and makes his excuses. The two men behind the counter <laughs> remain calm. But they didn't. The shop owner, Afzal, Dumbass. not only let the suspect go, he posted the video to Twitter asking the almost robber to come back. He wrote, the times are difficult for many of us at the moment, so we are struggling to put food on the table, Please come visit us in the store to see how we can help. That's I real. That it's his Muslim faith with teaching him to be merciful and forgiving. That's pretty real. Shout outs to you. That's a double win. That shout outs to you. Save the phone. I wouldn't have came back Save though. The business look fire. A man allegedly fatally stabbed a man who confronted him for bad manners. Hell no. Nah. The victim held open a door for the man who did not say thank you. Police say. The Hell no, nah, you gotta let that shit slide. Manslaughter and criminal possession of a weapon. Man, you know how many times I open the door and somebody don't goddamn open the door for me and I don't, don't say thank you? What a dumb reason to die. So basically. Come on, bro, let's let it slide. They don't gotta say thank what you. What happened so the, was. So the dude died. What happened was the guy in the white was holding the door. The guy goes through, but he doesn't say thank you. So That's that dumb. He's like, hey, bro, you're not gonna say thank you? Man, you know how the people don't Got say cheese? thank you when you what open the door? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. And the man said, excuse me? Shop cheese. <laughs> he said, excuse me? You said, said you're not going to say thank you, chop cheese? Yeah, That's yeah, crazy. Man. He ain't open the door for you I and he slid you one in you, bro. Man. No, pause. You're not going to say you know thank what I'm you, chop cheese. That's dead. crazy. <laughs> So dumb. <laughs> so, hey yo, B, you ain't gonna so say man, thank you, me. chopped cheese. I'm, hey, that got me mad tight. And you know what I'm saying? Say thank you, get stabbed and, and dies. That's crazy. <sighs> that's crazy. People are not well, especially in New York. That's people. Hey, are not somebody. Well. Hey, man, don't even open the door if you need a thank you. Because somebody didn't say thank you or the guy who stabbed him. Because he got aggressive. You saw his posture. He looked like he was trying to fight him. Guys, I don't know who's the dumber one in this whole situation. It's hard to tell. Well, the thing that happened is that when you fight a pig in the mud, you're going to get dirty the distance. At some point, you can't tell who's who. And at the end of the day, you, you realize that she, the pig likes it. So when you fight like that, you don't know who's who. That's that's what happens. Yeah. You don't know who's who. Hey, listen, who's dumb and who's not. Couldn't be me. I've opened doors for many people. 
I've never sat there and like, where's my thank you, mother? Man, that's crazy. You know what's crazy is that a lot of these murders and deaths can just be so easily avoided if motherfuckers just walk away. Let it go. Just you just got to let it go. go. That is just dumb behavior. And that's what people do. Kind of like that white man in the parking lot that we covered before. The old man could have died. Easily. The old, the old man could have died. He did a reverse and went back. That, 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 that's twice, that dumb shit. Twice. That's that, that dumb shit. That's that dumb shit. Like, yo, let it go. It's not even important. You just got to let it go. You're going you to wish you let it go. Sure, your pride might be a little bit annoyed. Who cares? It's too late now. You guys are out here dying because some motherfucker didn't say thank you. Like, what? Yeah, that's dumb. No one there's that much instability. Here's the thing. I don't even act like that when I'm in Canada or in Europe. Y'all doing that in America. But they're Americans. So? I, last I checked, Americans are not immune from stab wounds. That's not what I Is think. that something on their RPG chart character chart? What they trying are they, to say? Are they immune from gun bullets? No, but they don't like... They, 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 it's normal. What are you trying to say? Walking <laughs> around like that is normal to them. So I guess I guess they just... Americans are... Cu- cu- Where are they from? ...of the security dangers and the threats. That they're not immune to it. If you know your place nah, is fucking not, dangerous, saying, you don't act like that. I'm not saying they're immune to they it. They from Canada or some shit? Sense of, I'm home. Nothing's gonna happen to me. Do you, you think know, they whenever, think that? You know, you know whenever. Do you think they think that? Hell they nah. They're, they're, they're saying nothing's gonna happen to them. them Hell nah. That because they're in the hood. They in the hood. You know when when you man, you crazy as hell. Every rapper get killed in his own hood. Accidents happen near your house because you're. Your 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 vigilance is actually mm. lower because you're close to home. Man, I stay aware. As soon as and that car, I'm aware of the road the until I park that much. Really lower, right? And for real, that, maybe that's where I'm not saying that 100. percent They don't think they're gonna die, but because they know the corner store, they come, that's their spot. The way I see Americans and people from New York repping their hood and shit, that's my hood, nigga. That's not. You know, <laughs> say thank you, Maji. You think he's not? I don't know. I, maybe I'm, I'm probably wrong, but maybe there's yeah, that's a weird of, ass theory, bro. Of, Ain't nobody yeah. out here thinking they good just because they in their hood, man. man. It's not. I wouldn't call it safety because some of the hoods are hoods, but at the end of the day, you don't think this shit's gonna happen. Just to just you. I mean, I don't even believe that's true because they see people around them dying all the time. Yeah, and, and, and that's like what do they think? America a war zone or something? Like What's they, going they, on, bro? Every poll shows that. They feel they think America a war zone or something. They, they, they feel like crime is crazy through the roof right now. Mm-hmm. So it is pretty why bad. Why would you ever think those of beefing pe- over somebody? Those, those people that are that are that are unsafe are not the ones that are gonna fight for a thank you. If you fight for a thank you, yeah, both you throw it up to someone like that for a thank you. You think you must have something that they don't have, which is courtesy. Well, maybe not. I'm probably wrong. I just think they're unstable. You can't make I sense out of shit like that. Level unstable to want to fight somebody over someone not saying thank you. Right. That's the truth. I think there's something a little bit sick in the prideful culture of a lot of men where they feel like they got to puff out their chest all the time over dumb shit. I think right, right. I think they just don't care. I think a lot of them don't care. You just got to let it go. There's that. Hey man, if y'all not from Texas, y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. Ask someone any other day of the week, like, are you aware of how dangerous stars in your neighborhood? They're like, yeah, they're well aware. But you get a little bit mouthy with somebody, and all of a sudden you stop thinking rationally. You could even Mm -hmm. see a cop on the corner, and you still gonna fight the person in front of you because you're so mad about situations. How many times have I seen? Man, that's emotional. That's lack of emotional uh, control, self control, right in front of the police officers. Why? Listen, if you got that much lack of self-control, man, you need to go back to pre-K and learn how to raise your hand and, you know, oh, we're going to put you in timeout, man. You can't be a grown man out here emotional as hell. You will get thrown to jail. I don't know what these boys talking about with all this. We think it's safe in America. That's the last thing we think is uh, in America because when shit hit the fan out here, bro, all the bullets in the uh, all the bullets in Walmart was gone. Everything was gone. So I don't know, man. I, I thought they was from the U.S. Because they mad and they're upset. Emotions. I think that's what it I really thought they was from the about. U.S. That's why they gave it manslaughter, and it wasn't premeditated because this shit was a spur of the moment thing where you're not thinking rationally. But it's just one of those things. Hell no, nah, you still gotta think like, rationally. I know every I'm moment. In a dangerous place. I'm already thinking de-escalation every time. I'm not thinking about my pride because I'm not rocking a bunch of weapons at me at all times of the day. So why would I even think that? And even if I was, hey, I word of the day, let it go. Better. Like Elsa. Said. Let it go. Just I got it, let it, it go. You know Word to this baby else. The way it works, I can't understand that. Like, I can understand it. I just don't understand how you get in your thirties and you still like that. You get me? 
Uh, you got what I mean? I understand. You got what I mean? Are dumb and for... You in your 30s and you still can't regulate your emotions at all? Reinta. Be smart and look. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just one of those things where I'm like, some of y'all grown, but you're not really grown. See what I'm just saying? That's at least the way I see it. Cause that is how I go. In the States, like, they're constantly aware of like, how everything is. But the ones who still end up getting in situations, at least from my perspective, is uh, a few screws missing over here and there. But it's, Look crazy. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Between the two videos, we saw one wholesome one, one deadly one. You know, good balance in life. We're saying both. What? <laughs> what? No? One wholesome one, one deadly one. Yeah. Balance. Get the fuck out of here. You know? <laughs> you don't see the difference, though. The first video is in the UK. There's an attempted robbery. Nothing happens. Yeah, well. Um, no violence. And then you go to America. Say thank you. I'm not. I'm not. And then you I'm get. Not, I'm not, I'm not going to be like the UK and got that violence because. They got stabbings and they got. Oh, but so they'll stab your ass, ass in the acid UK. Throw, acid thrown in their face. So I'm not gonna be like, oh, you know what? The people from the U. I'm not gonna do that. I'll say this: people mention that stuff, and it is partially true, but per capita, it's not even close to comparable to America. Fair. Like, I don't think people realize how crazy crime in America is. Yeah. Like acid attacks, we talk about them because they're so bizarre to us. It's but crazy. really, it's just because they got a lot of brown people, and that shit's just popular from like those places. But really, acid attacks are not as common as you think. Surprisingly. Yeah, shoot me. And don't 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 throw no acid on me, bro. Of crime that happened in America. They're shoot me in my ass cheek on my goddamn America, foot. They probably overtake all of the UK for murders. A year. But they can't defend they themselves against uh, murder. They they own people. England per year. Let me look it up. Sure. Murder, England, per year. God damn. Up. The U.S. is just wild. Y'all can't numbers, defend yourselves against nothing, though. Survive and multiply. Eight times more. Put it like this. If three people trying to stab me and I got one nine, I'm even in the odds. If you got three people trying to stab you and what, you going to pull out a damn sword? You going to pull out a long sword and y'all going to uh, duel it out? Come on, bro. More homicides. In the States? Come on, bro. Yeah. Per, per, per million. Okay. So per million people. Per million. Yeah. I don't know, man. It sounds like the UK people trying to be all extra, you know, extra this about we're safer than y'all. We're safer. Y'all more unprotected than us. Uh, and y'all got to completely rely on y'all, you know, uh, I don't want to say oppressor, but whoever governs the US, you know, what I'm saying? I mean, the UK, you know, if the king and queen wake up one day and just like, man, I want to do something crazy to everybody, y'all gonna have to sit there and they gonna have the guns and y'all not. So, I don't know. I think I'll trade that. I'll take U.S.'s policies over the U.K.'s any day. But, hey, man, that's I've been preach, man. I like them. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If, you, if you're from the U.K., how do you feel about America? Do you feel like we walk around with uh, grenades and, like, it's Call of Duty every day? Because uh, I'm just sitting here making reaction videos and it's pretty calm in the countryside. So, I don't know, man. It's all about perspective. And you're looking at data sheets and stuff like that. You're going to think it's wilder than what it really is. But y'all let me know what y'all think. It's your boy, Shaka Ben. And Mafioso, the Dun Dada Code is Ninja with a Nunchuck swinging behind his back, a.k.a. Shaka Black, a.k.a. SP Panther, a.k.a. Shaka Ben, a.k.a. Shaka Fuego, a.k.a. Shaka Flag. Man, signing out, man. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. 99% of y'all are not subscribed. So, man, come back, man. Enjoy it with us, man. Let's chit chat. Let's talk about it, bro. We might have a lot in common, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Peace.